the blanket with my baby is where I'll be. attributed in translation to Galileo and is apparently something he penned when he was threatened to be excommunicated because he dared to suggest um, something other than the sun going round the earth.
Well, we call it a good thing tags because we're going to be singing you some tags. Um, now, let me explain a little bit, give you a bit of background before we begin. Barbershop singing uh, started in the late 19th century in the States, in the Deep South, and they had a, a revival in the 20s and 30s. And there's, there's a whole big barbershop singing movement still in existence. Um, originally, it was all male probably men sort of waiting for their haircuts and uh, singing together. Um, it's close four-part harmony. And the reason it's close is because it's all got to be within the male range, from the lowest note to the highest note. So it's sort of squashed in a little bit. Um, now most people think of barbershop as quartets, but it doesn't mean you can only have four people, it means you have four parts, and you can have as many people as you like on each part as long as it's, as it's balanced. Um, there are also women's barbershop groups, um, and uh, lately mixed gender groups also come together. We've got one for you tonight. Um, we're going to sing you three tags. Now, barbershop versions of songs often have a, a special introduction bit, and mo a few of them do, and Virtually all of them have a tag. That's a special bit at the end where you want to finish with a flourish and show off some really juicy chords. Um, so when when you sing these perfectly in tune, you get to hear harmonic overtones that no one person is actually singing, and that's called ringing the chord. And that's the sort of goal of, of uh, the barbershops. So singing tags. It's, it's only a few bars at the end of the song. So it's, it's a sort of um, social activity. It means that, that you can go up to, to any, any barbershoppers and say, hey, do you want to sing a tag? Which one? Um, oh, I'll teach you this. And you just teach each part. And you try it together. And you try it a few times. And, and you find, finally get that ringing chord. That's really good. So, it's not really a performance piece, but since, since we've been using up the time and space in the small marquee, I guess we'd better show you what we've been doing. So, our first tag is called Mickey Mouse.